Have you ever encountered people who are narcissists, at the same time psychopaths? Can you distinguish the difference between the two? I'm going to share the differences between narcissists and psychopaths. A narcissistic mindset develops as the person grows up. Here are their five statements. 5. I adore myself, and I'm sure you do as well. We all know that the narcissist loves to brag about themselves to the public or even to their families. The narcissist wants to expect something from someone. They love themselves and they want you to also love them back. They only care about themselves and do not care about others. In short, narcissists love only themselves and do something only for their own interest. But keep in mind that a person will only become a narcissist because of the environmental influence. Have you seen a person developing this kind of thinking? If you do, guide him or her to a better light. 4. There is no need for me to apologize. Have you ever seen someone who never apologizes even though they knew that they were wrong? It's frustrating, right? Seeing someone who doesn't admit their mistakes, well, that is the narcissistic attitude that we expect. Narcissist's chance in apologizing is close to zero, and that is a fact. If you ever hear a narcissist apologizing, always put in your mind that it is a false apology, where the narcissist makes excuses for their actions in order to not feel guilty. Have you dated someone who always blames you for the misfortunes in your relationship? 3. The majority of folks aren't up to par. This mindset makes the narcissist think that they are the best ones to lead people, be it a job, relationship, career, and other fields in life. Most of the time, they think that no one is better at leading than they are. Well, some narcissists are doing a great job leading a team. The only thing is, most of them take all the credit and don't share it with anyone in the team. They boast about the team's achievement and take all the credit even though everyone should be praised for doing the hard work. Unbelievable, right? What is your take on this if you were a part of that narcissist team? How would you respond? Do you let it slide or will you fight for yours and your teammates' rights? The choice is yours. 2. In this world, I have few equals and I have yet to meet one. A person who develops narcissistic traits will always think that they are the best in the world. They think that no one else could do better than them in every aspect in life, which is why they think highly of themselves. Can you imagine someone who thinks that no one can beat him in any field? I know what you're thinking. Arrogant, right? Well, what can we do? That is how they think of themselves. The only thing that you can do is to ignore them so that they will lose confidence in life. Have you encountered that person who thinks that they are the best? What did you do in order to restrain him or her? Please give advice to people who need help from someone who is like this. 1. I demand gratitude for everything I do, no matter how tiny. Have you been demanded so many times that you felt burned out? And from being demanded, you were never appreciated by the things you did for the person? By the way, what do you call that person again? A narcissist if you ask me. Narcissists tend to take something from you but will never give anything because they only praise themselves. But even though we complain, we still please them. Why is that? It's because of the love we feel for them. So we should look after ourselves when we encounter a narcissist. Now let's go to psychopaths. Psychopaths are people who are naturally born with it. These are the psychopaths' mindset. 5. What about my rights? I couldn't care less about human rights. Narcissists can also be psychopaths, but not all psychopaths can be narcissists. 
This is a fact. Narcissists are capable of showing emotions because they always seek attention from people and be acknowledged. Psychopaths, on the other hand, don't show emotions. They are like human machines that don't feel pain emotionally. This is proven since they don't care what they are doing and they don't care about rules. Psychopaths just want to do things but don't feel guilt, remorse, or any type of emotions. Did you see someone who is incapable of showing their emotions? 4. The purpose of laws and rules is to be broken. This thinking is a way that psychopaths do what they want even if it means breaking the law. They think that they are above the law at all times, and since they are not capable of feeling emotions like guilt, they don't care what happens in the aftermath. Whether they are captured or not, their mindset will never change. Psychopaths are also experts in faking emotions and making you believe that they are real. Which is why most psychopaths turn into serial killers as they get older and older. So you better be careful when you encounter this type of person and be sure to know him fully as you venture on a journey together. Because most cases like this, even if you knew him for a very long time, you can never tell if he or she is keeping secrets from you. 3. The vast majority of people are dupes who should have seen it coming. Have you seen someone that always reacts when people make mistakes? That person can either be a narcissist, a psychopath, or even both. They complain and complain even though they have no right. Psychopaths love to look down on people and you will never see them feel guilty about it. They think all people are dupes and they want the people to know that they will always be a victim. If you were a psychopath, it would be amazing on how you deal with people apart from your family. 2. Cheating It's something that everyone does. Everyone is looking out for himself. Have you cheated or ever been cheated? If you cheated, how do you react when you are caught? Do you feel guilty or would you make an excuse to say, everyone cheats? Narcissists would be emotionally high when they are caught, but for psychopaths, they just say, so what? And don't feel anything at all. Since psychopaths are incapable of building emotions, they will never be able to have a strong attachment to anyone, even their family and friends. 1. What harm will it do me if I lie? Everyone deceives you. If someone important to you lied, what would you do? After doing what you need to that person, what was their reaction? Did they ever feel remorse? If they didn't, you better watch out for yourself because the person may be a psychopath. When doing something wrong, they justify and get out of the situation. They don't also care what the result may be as long as they did it. When the narcissist lies, they will not stop until they make you forget that they lie. But when it comes to the psychopath, it would be a different story because they will never give you an explanation as to why they did it. So what do you think are the difference between narcissists and psychopaths? Maybe they're the same, or maybe not. Are you seeing the differences between them? To us, narcissists are too emotional and psychopaths are too insensitive. What topics of narcissistic relationships interest you the most? Do you have topics you want us to cover? Tell us in the comments below.